Hello people, in this video let us look at cherry red spot and um, where are we cherry red spot? Are we looking at something like this? No, we are looking at the fundus of the eye. So inside the eye you can see something here like a red dot. This is cherry red spot. Around it you can see some pale area. So this is cherry red spot in the fundus of your eye. So basically what is happening? So you have the macula, right? In the center of the macula you have a red dot. So this is nothing but the choroid, the vascular choroid that is shining through a thin retina. So what exactly are you looking at? First retina, behind it there is choroid, right? Now what is happening? The retina has become so thin that the choroid which is vascular, it is looking more red. That's it. And around it there is lot of paleness. You can see there is not much redness here or it is very pale you can see. So a red dot amidst this paleness in the macular area, in the center of the macula you have the red spot. Okay, this is the fovea in the foveal region you have the cherry red spot so why does this happen there are so many reasons let's look at this enumerate the causes of cherry red spot if they ask you you will say central retinal artery occlusion so the artery itself got occluded uh, so central retinal artery occluded so retina became thin looks like and then the choroid is shining through the fovea at the fovea region commotio retino somebody blew blow to the eye blow blow on the eye berlin's edema so commotio retina retina became thin Apex disease destroys nerve cells, so retina became thin and choroid shining through. Neiman Pick's disease because of first lipid storage disorder, fatty substances they are accumulating in the brain, etc. So again, you can say nerves, something like that. So probably retina became thin and the choroid is shining through in the fovea. Gaucher's disease again, same thing, fatty substances again. So same thing. So all these uh, reasons will be able. Will you able? Will you be able to write in the? So what are the causes of cherry red spot? C R E O central retinal artery occlusion main one you will write that then what will you write some Neiman pick disease Gaucher's disease was there then you blow that guy uh, punch that guy in the eye commotion retina Berlin edema so then what else uh, something happened to the retina retina something has to happen to the retina right what is it Tay Sachs disease all these three are very weird names so you can remember these two are central retina retina Tay Sachs disease Neiman pick disease Gaucher's disease all these are destroying the nerves looks like okay. Commotio retina, Berlin edema. You say somebody uh, the blow on the eye, so milky white cloudiness uh, and uh, po uh, milky white cloudiness involving a considerable area of the posterior pole with the cherry red spot in the foveal region. This may disappear after some days, so it can disappear after some days in the case of Berlin edema or commotio retina, where it is a blow on the eye. Okay. So that's all, guys. In this video, we looked at cherry red spot. Uh, where is it? It is in the fundus, in the uh, fovea region, in the macula. Uh, center of the macula what do you have fovea there you're seeing a red dot why because the choroid the vascular choroid is shining through the retina has become thin this uh, is also surrounded by some pale area of the cherry red spot okay this is cherry red spot that's all for now in this video when they ask you about this in the exam write for each of these what treatment you will write that you should write right so you will actually basically treat the cause you'll have to treat this you'll have to treat this extra remember in this they said it can go away by itself also that's all for now guys bye bye